I am really tired of hearing that cold calling is dead. The problem isn't that cold calling is dead. The real problem is the people who are making cold calls aren't doing them correctly and then their chances of getting any kind of customer from the person they're calling are dead. In this video, I'm going to give you the script that I've used and that hundreds of my salespeople that I've trained and coached have used to be the most successful. But before I do that, I want to go over just a couple of things about the people that you are calling. First, nobody goes to work going, gee, I hope I get a call from a salesperson today. So get that out of your head. No one is expecting your call. Nobody, nobody actually wants your call. So, so you have to put, put that aside. I know that's harsh, but it's true. The second thing is you have no idea the person you're calling, what has happened to them earlier that day or that week or that morning. The person you're calling may have just five minutes earlier may have just gotten chewed out by their boss, had an argument with their spouse, uh, got passed over for a promotion and whatever it is, they may not be in the best mood to receive your call. So when you call and say, Hey, Mary, this is Louie. How you doing today? And, you know, they're not ready to accept your call and they're not going to respond well to your call. So ditch that line. If you're calling someone you don't know, don't say, how you doing? I'll tell you a story. Many times I'll get sales calls and people say, hey, Louie, this is Melanie. How you doing today? And I'll go, oh, God. I'll say, Melanie, let me tell you something. It's not going well. I got up this morning late realized I had a meeting, couldn't find a pair of matching socks. Then my wife tells me, I got to take the kids to school. So I get in the car, it's raining, traffic is horrible. Be honest with you, Melanie, I am not in a great mood. Now I'm being a jerk and I stop and because there's silence out the other end of the phone. And I say, look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being a jerk, but I, I teach this stuff. And I just want to point out, this is what can happen when you ask that kind of a question. So just be prepared. This is not the kind of question that you want to ask on front. Let me tell you how you do want to approach this, knowing you don't know what that person is going through. Here's what I tell people to say. Phone rings and they say, hi, this is Melanie. Hi, Melanie. This is Louis Bernstein. I know you weren't expecting my call. Let me I tell you why I did call you. Now, the way that's phrased is important because it's not why I did call, but why I called you in particular. That kind of makes people perk up for two reasons. You're saying you and you're using their name, the most important word in the language, their name. And that will help them take notice to what you're saying. 90% of the time they're going to say, okay, go ahead, tell me, why did you call me? You say, thank you. The reason I called you is... And then you go off and tell them what your benefits are. You may say something like, we recently migrated um, XYZ from the Abacus system, which I noticed that you're using, over to our platform. And within 90 days, they started seeing their profits improve, or they started seeing greater productivity, or they started seeing sales grow, or they started getting great customer testimonials, whatever it is. Would you be open to hearing the process we use to help them migrate over? If she has time, she'll probably say yes. But you let them know you're not trying to interrupt their day, hoping that they have, you know, you let them be aware of you're, in, you're intruding, but you want to give them something valuable. And if they have time, it may be worth their while. So I would try, these, uh, try this opening on your cold call. Cold calls work. Email still works if it's done correctly. It's great to get inbound, but you don't always get that. So sometimes you have to make a cold call. And if you're going to make a cold call, make it a good one. I hope this helps you. If you found this video helpful or valuable, please hit the subscribe and notification buttons. You'll be notified whenever I come out with a new video that can help you, and I'll be encouraged to make more of them. Thank you.